The Alta National Gallery's holdings include Romantic and Impressionist masterpieces as well as a world-class collection of works by Adolf Menzel. The museum's collection dates back to a gift from the banker Johann Heinrich Wilhelm Wagner to the Prussian state in 1861, a bequest of 262 works with an emphasis on Belgian history painting and the Dusseldorf School. However, this collection also included Caspar David Friedrich's Lonely Tree and Carl Friedrich Schinkel's Gothic Church on a Rock by the Sea, which formed the foundation for what are today two of the National Gallery's most significant suites of works from the early 19th century. By the time it opened in 1876, the National Gallery had acquired enough paintings, sculptures, and sketches to increase its holdings by half. The museum's director, Impressionism enthusiast Hugo von Schutte, acquired Edouard Manet's in the conservatory and Claude Monet's view of Vithiel in 1896, making the National Gallery the first museum in the world to purchase Impressionist art. Ludwig Justy, Schutte's successor, was equally pioneering in his work at the museum. After 1918 he assembled a singular collection of Expressionist art, exhibited in the Kronprinz and Palais on under Den Linden, including masterpieces such as Franz Marx's painting The Tower of Blue Horses, which has since been lost. The works from this modern art department that survived the iconoclasm of the Nazi regime and the devastation of the war can now be found at the Neue National Gallery. On view in the Alta National Gallery, Lobus Korin's The Blind Samson is testament to the rise of modernism and is exemplary of painting at the end of the long 19th century. Today, the Alta National Gallery owns approximately 1,800 paintings and 1,500 sculptures. A selection of sculptural works, among them Johann Gottfried Schadow's famous princesses Luisa and Friederike, is located on the first floor of the building. Additional sculptures from the 19th century can be found in the Friedrichswerder Dersch Kirche. The museum's display of 19th century art begins on the third floor with painting from the age of Gouda. Aside from those paintings and suites by Schinkel and Friedrich mentioned above, highlights include frescoes of the Nazarenes created for the Casa Bartholdi in Rome, and the paintings of Karl Bleschen. The main axis of the second floor is formed by a gallery of Impressionist painting in the Gallery of German Roman Artists, with key works by Arnold Buchlein, including a version of the famous Isle of the Dead, paintings by Hans von Murray, and pictorial works by Adolf von Hildebrand. In the adjacent rooms, the works of Anselm Feuerbach and the Munich School attest to the diversity of artistic expression in the second half of the century, while the paintings of Max Liebermann herald the arrival of Impressionism in Germany. After passing through the sculpture hall on the first floor of the exhibition, visitors are presented with a broad survey of European paintings, with works by John Constable, Gustav Courbet, and the Barbizon School. The rear transverse hall and apse are dedicated to Adolf Menzel. A number of his most renowned paintings are on prominent display, among them scenes from the life of Frederick the Great such as the iron rolling mill in the balcony room. In the rooms adjoining to the east, the paintings of Anton von Werner exemplify the academic style favored by Wilhelm II during the Kaiserreich. Today, the collection of the Alta National Gallery is a historical one, and is only expanded under exceptional circumstances. One recent example is the acquisition of Adolf Menzel's The Petition, which serves as an excellent complement to his paintings from the life of Frederick the Great already on display.